I think one of the hardest deaths for me was a middle-aged man who I joked with him as we got him into his room and apologized that it took us so long to get him there. And I said, you know, I'm sorry for your wait. He's like, no, no problem, no problem at all. We got him into a room and um, there's a phenomenon we see in COVID patients that we refer to as happy hypoxic, like they're their oxygen's really, really low, but they don't act like they're in kind of any kind of respiratory distress. And he was one such patient. And uh, once we got him into a room, we realized that he was struggling, you know. And I mean, obviously we helped him. Um, it's the first thing we did. And I remember we got him in the room and, you know, we got him everything that we had. We threw it at him. And I thought, okay, he's one that's gonna make it, you know. And I come back the next day and hear from um, a coworker that he had not made it. And he was a healthy guy. Like he had high blood pressure. That was the only medical problem he had. People have this idea that the only, the very sickest in our population are, are dying from this virus. And that's just simply not true. We are intubating 20 year olds, perfectly healthy, normal, people. We are, we are transplanting organs because of the effect that COVID has had on patients long term, heart transplant, lung transplants. I mean, the effect that this one virus has on the human body is, is astronomical. I, I mean, it truly just ravages. I mean, that, that was shocking to me. To lose him was shocking to me because I would never have guessed in all my experience and all the years I've been doing this job, I never would have guessed that he would not make it.